just imagine you're dealing with a large document that has lots of pages of data and it's quite hard to work with most of the times these are basically different documents that would be really tedious to actually analyze as well as read through you would probably waste lots of hours manually going through everything to locate what you would actually need but what if i'm to tell you that there is a way where you can build an ai search engine for your document and this is to transform how information is retrieved and managed offering accuracy speed and efficiency that traditional methods struggle to match this is something I'll be showcasing today with a trustworthy platform that I've made many videos on with on this channel called VectorShift, an end-to-end -end AI automation platform that will enable anyone to create AI solutions such as an AI search engine, AI assistants, chatbots, and various automations that can automate your life. For example, I've showcased in previous videos how to automate data entry as well as your emails. Now, this AI-driven search engine that we're going to be building is going to help automate repetitive tasks like sorting, categorizing, or tagging documents, and it will basically reduce manual work and eliminate human error. It's very cost-effective, it's really secure to work with, and it has the ability to integrate semantic search where the AI will be capable of interpreting the meaning behind search queries as well as documents, and this will allow users to find information even if it isn't as exact with the keyword match. This is the capability of the AI search engine that we're gonna be building today. This is actually a new feature that has been developed by VectorShift and it's gonna allow you to basically search anything with your documents. You can embed this to your website or you can access it through a link. And in this case, you can search anything about your documents and you're gonna get a really detailed semantic search. It's gonna be really characterized to what you would want and it will also showcase all the references for you with the help of AI. So what I want you guys to do now is head over to the vectorshift.ai website, link that I'll leave in the description below. I'll also leave all the other links that I use in today's video there as well. But in this case, what I want you guys to do is click on the get started button, which will take you to this sign up page. This is where you can create an account with your email address or with a Google account or with GitHub. Now, before we get started, I definitely recommend that you take a look at the Patreon page so that you can access the new subscriptions that we'll be releasing this week. Once you have signed up, you're going to be then sent over to the main pipeline dashboard. This is where you're going to be able to manage all your automations as well as various sorts of creations that you have basically created in the past. You have a marketplace in which you can access ready-made templates of different automations, such as the ability to access a ready-made chat PDF. You also have ability to deploy various automations from various things, which I'll show in a bit. You have the ability to upload your own knowledge base files and you can manage your automations, tweak different chatbots that you can create, as well as deploying forms, which is a new feature that I've showcased multiple times. But in this case, what I'm going to be doing now is showcasing how you can create this AI search engine for your documents. You can either create this through a pipeline or through your knowledge base directly through your whatever documents that you upload. So in this case, we're gonna be doing it through the knowledge base. You can give it a name. So we'll just name it world of AI. You can change the chunk size, the chunk overlap. You can change the processing model. In this case, if you wanna use Llama parse, it's gonna be able to clean and extract data from images through OCR. It basically improves a lot of the data for the query in that particular sense. You can also input an Appify link or a key, sorry, and you can also change the embedding model to whatever you would want for multilingual use cases for English Lite, as well as whatever preference is best for you. So now that you have that set, you can also even tick mark this, which is advanced document analysis. It's currently in beta, but it will give you a lot more precise answers for your documents and it will give you a good pinpoint of where the message is and it will pinpoint the exact i would say keywords as well as the reference to whatever it, you're looking for in your documents so once you have set all your presets you can then just simply click on create from here you can either choose to upload your own files to upload to your knowledge base you can choose or add different integrations which is really unique because in this case you can connect a lot of different apps from Airtable to Discord, your Google Drive, you have various Google Sheets that you can also integrate. 
you can all the way go down to even like something like LinkedIn or Teams. And you can see that there is a lot of integrations in which you can process or upload for your knowledge base. And that's the great flexibility of Vectorshift. Now, in this case, what we're going to be doing is adding a bunch of files, but you can also upgrade, upload your own Google Sheets or even Airtable so that you can upload your knowledge base to Vectorshift. Now, in this case, you can also even scrape URLs. And the great thing about this is that they have a recursive feature which will crawl the website on a minutely or even a weekly, hourly, as well as monthly basis. And this way, you're going to be able to get accurate information scraped from whatever page you upload. Now, another way for you to upload your knowledge base is uploading folders and categorizing everything through those folders. And that's the benefit of Vectorshift. So I have now built my knowledge base in which I have recursive URLs, integrations to my Google Drive, as well as various PDFs and CSV files. So now that we have our knowledge base created, you can then head over to the AI search tab, which will allow us to now create our AI search engine for our document. So now you can just simply click on create new search. You can then name it whatever you want. So let's just name it world of AI search engine for our documents. And now that we have a search name, you can then select the knowledge base that you just created. You can either choose a pipeline in which you've created previously, but in this case, we've done it through a knowledge base, which is way easier. So you can just simply search the knowledge base that you've just created. In this case, it was world of AI. So you can also have it so that you can auto deploy or generate AI summaries. And you can do this with various models from open source models to even uh, different closed source models like Anthropic or OpenAI with different models that you can see from that provider like GPT-4 Omni or GPT-4 Omni Mini. So in this case, let's just simply create this search and we're going to be able to configure certain things such as the name of it. You can also have it so that you can even style the avatars or even search result page styling. So now that we have changed and saved everything, you can export this and you can export this as a link or you can embed this into your website. And you can even provide authentication to even access this with the password. So now we can ask it things about world of AI. So let's ask it. So what is the world of AI YouTube channel? And within a couple of seconds, it's going to provide all the links as well as the sources of all the documents that we have provided. And it's going to be able to summarize it for us. So the World of AI YouTube channel is an educational platform dedicated to making AI technology accessible to a broad audience. And you can see all the different uh, links as well as the different sorts of files that are provided to my knowledge base. And this way, I'm going to be able to get the most relevant information. And this works ideally better for large amounts of documents that have large amounts of data in it. So if you have a lot of pages and a lot of data, you can basically use that search engine to ask questions for your data. And this way you can use AI to chat with your files. And this way you're going to be able to get the best results out of it. And that's easy as that guys. That's how you can easily build your AI search engine for your documents. And I definitely recommend that you get started with this because this is something that is very simple and easy to do. I actually did this within uh, probably around two minutes and I was able to showcase this within a video for you. So I'll leave all the links that I use in today's video in the description below. Make sure you follow me on the Patreon, a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. Make sure you follow me on the Twitter. You can show you that you can stay up to date with whatever I'm posting in the AI space. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video and check out our previous videos so that you get the best content in the AI space. So with that thought guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.